My lives are not deleted, they're just privated because if you swear too much, they will limit your monetization. So, hey Buttercup! Who did I swear at? I was just swearing yesterday. Ray, I don't have any plans to come to Canada right now, but you never know in the future. The collagen, if I take it for a while, I notice some difference. Yeah. I think you're very real. I'd love you for it. Thank you, Specs. Vera, maybe a little too real. <laughs> you don't get a plaque for 103k, imagine. It does help the hair. I noticed my hair was shinier and thicker, but I don't know if it like didn't do much for the bald, but I got to give Harry his salad after his little treats. What did I have to eat today? This and that. Yeah, I know. I stopped too soon too. Or I don't take things consistently to see the benefits. What prompted the last video? I just wanted to give my two cents about it. That's all. Probably not worth my time, is it? I, I didn't feel like, you know, I'm like, I'm just going to explain, but I didn't feel like doing a mukbang. But today's ta was Taco Tuesday. How many kilos of seeds? <laughs> well, we only had a half kilo last time we stocked up. Usually it's one, one and a half. I'm kind of sick of them. Has husband regulated the ice creams? Mm -mm, no. Um, I don't know. What do you mean regulated? No, I had one meal for Taco Tuesday. The other one for Salah. Yeah, Caddy, I've kind of been doing takeout. <sighs> All tacos are good. I love Taco Bell tacos. I know, but it's hard. Uh, it's hard. I can't seem to do it right now. I don't know. What is this? How much is this in Kuwait money? Anyone know? It's Arabic. Is this 100 fills? <laughs> it was on the table. It's been on the table forever. Teardrop, that's what they're going with now. Your dog eats kittens. Give me a break. So stupid. <laughs> Leave Teardrop alone. She has a wrench, you know. How much taco, how much KFC did I have? So we had an eight piece, eight piece bucket. And Salah had, how many pieces did I have? Three or four? One was like a little wing. KFC edition. <laughs> it's a Kuwait edition. Really blocked pot? Then Hardee's. Yeah, I had a bad day yesterday with uh, ordering out. This is my second hamster, Jessica. I had one when I was younger. His name was um, Chip. And he was really a little mean piece of <laughs> cuteness. He would, I could not pick him up. Like, he was vicious. I remember my mom getting it for my birthday. And she was like, look what I got you. And she went to take him out of the box. And he bit her finger and was hanging off of it. And she's like, I got you a hamster <laughs> for your birthday. <laughs> he wouldn't let anyone touch him. He was just like, I don't know. I honestly, would, I kept him downstairs. No, my room was in the basement at the time. That's why it was downstairs. And I also at the same time had an iguana. Uh, no, not an iguana. A newt called Iggy. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I know. Pretty sure I'm addicted to salt. Why use MSG instead? Teddy bear hamsters are so cute. Yeah, I picked him up. He hasn't bitten me since. Stop scratching the carpet. I look better without makeup, Kasumi. Thank you. Your hamster had a growth. Ah, oh, he ate it, right? Oh, no. Where's Crazy Frog? He had to go out and do something with his friend, with his third wife. <laughs> Have you tried snails? I can't go on a walk right now, Lizzie. It's too hot out. Yeah, I've tried snails. <laughs> Chantel's gimpy gerbil. My mouse ate her babies. Yeah, animals do weird things to each other. <laughs> let's go seal. I can't deal, so let's go seal. Ugh. Sorry, I'm boring and lazy. I can't seem to get out of this funk. It's so hard to get back on track when you're off track. I know people are like, you've never been on track. Not for very long, maybe for like a couple of days at the most, but you know, those couple of days feel like a friggin' month because they're so hard to get through, like every minute. It's the sodium, I know, probably. I had Fiesta potatoes. Uh oh, I have to get up again maybe to use the washroom. Oh. No, I had Taco Bell today. I don't have a... Tw oh, I have a Twitch? Yeah, I do. I never use it. It's Miriam plays games. The tree lady crazy frog? <laughs> a metric ton of Indomie. Hi, Energy! Paneer every day. For I had paneer every day before. 
I had two packs of Indomie in my McBain. If you're in truck when you cook more, I find, yeah. No, the Indomie is the fried noodles flavor. It's so good. It comes with like a little oil packet with like some salty stuff in it. And then like a sweet soy sauce. <laughs> oh, and I'm out of breath because I smoked shisha. I'm just really bad, you know. You can just, if I delete the delivery app, you can just re-download it. Because Cody, I don't know, I like smoking shisha. I know, they have so many calories, I know, just a small packet. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was bad, today was it much better. I don't know. I didn't have two Taco Bell meals today, I had one. Do you want me to show you the other Taco Bell meal in the fridge? Because Salah's going to eat it when it comes back? Because I will. Oh, I hope my Timu gets here in time, I have so many new tops. No, he's at Diwania. He better be winning. He always does. <laughs> he's very competitive when he plays games. <laughs> Even against me. We were playing Ninja Turtles and he was like, Hit the pizza! Hit the pizza! <laughs> I was like, chill, bro! No. <laughs> I know, I got so many cute shirts and they're like cotton light material that would be good, you know, to walk around in. And <sighs> No, it's like a gathering of dudes. No females allowed. To hang out with dudes. Can you tell us when you are leaving? No. Breathable fabrics. If my clothes don't come, I'll have to wear what I have. I mostly packed. But maybe I can go. Maybe they have places with plus size clothes in there. I don't know. What's rude? Oh, I bypassed both your comments. What? Is that a card game? Oh no, it's a yeah, it's a gathering of dudes. And yes, men are always competitive. Like my cat scratching my carpet. Okay, well, Fufu, this is not a family-friendly deal on you. How long does it usually take for you to get a Timu order? About a week or two. Or It depends. One time it took, like, over two weeks, I think, wasn't it? No, not that long. It depends. I mean, why didn't I bring my water with me? What is wrong with me? I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> Kettle chips are the bomb. I don't like them either. They're all curled. There's not one straight one. And they hurt. Can you draw haters and we have to guess them? Yeah, I could do that. I'm not supposed to, though. Muslims are not supposed to draw people or make fun of them. I've been failing at that. Stuff all up. Okay, Mimi Cherry, thank you. Salah will know if I order something, he has to answer the phone. Her form of torture on the gums. My teeth look shiny. There you go. Me and Salah should get beef guns and have a nerf fight. A nerf fight. That would be fun. They are sharp, unicorn. No drawing and mocking haters. Yep. No mocking God's creations, no matter how hideous they are. And... Um, no drawing, like, facial characters and stuff. No drawing of living creatures, uh. My drawings are hilarious, I know. I haven't tried Sheen for clothes, maybe I should, huh? I'm excited for my trip! Yes, kitty cat! Oh, you love mom! You love mom? Are you gonna bite mom? I know you love mom, but you always bite mom, it's your choice, hey, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you bit mom! You bit mom! Why did you bite mom? She's got really pretty fluffy fur. Thank you. So full of it. I know. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had Frito pie? No. It looks good every time I see people eat it. Or you ever see people open a bag of Doritos and pour chili, cheese, and all kinds of stuff on in it? <gasps> Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, sure. I think I'll try to go live or do a video, like I usually do a travel video, of my travel adventures and my struggles on the airplanes. Would you want to sit beside me on an airplane? I don't encroach too much, just a little bit. <laughs> but this time I guess I don't have to worry about that, do I? Barbecue Doritos, yeah, I don't like them. You're right, they're gross. I like the sweet chili heat ones, though. I can't tell you where we're going, or when, but you'll know soon enough. Can you get Italian food in Kuwait? Yeah, you can. It's very expensive, so I just make my own freaking church basement spaghetti. No, I want all my seat that I paid for. Oh, come on! 400 pound people side by side. I guess they would understand each other. If someone was pressing up against me, I wouldn't care. No, because I'm fat too. We beat up on all each other. I always luck out and sit beside someone super skinny. Except the last time there was somebody kind of big. It was kind of awkward. Three in a row. I don't know. The middle seat really should be illegal. Like someone said. Am I going to seal on the plane? I wish. Oh. I don't know. If ever I become super rich or something... I'll get a first class. They have beds, some airlines. And we can, do, we can seal bees on a plane. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know if I'd want to pay that, though. Oh, my gosh. Think of all the people you can help with 10 grand for a plane ticket. I remember my stepdad taking me to hockey games. He used to play hockey. And he would always buy me a chuck wagon and a hot chocolate. Always. You ever have a chuck wagon? It's like lunch meats. I don't know what kind. With cheese and a hoagie bun and I, with yellow mustard. For some reason, they haven't been accumulating my points on the app. So I have to... It's because, like, the... Because, like, Salah pays for the flights and it's always in his name. So apparently, like, it has to be the traveler's name to accumulate the points. So when I travel and it's my name as the passenger, I don't get the points. So we have to, like, you have to fill out a form and show your marriage certificate, like, upload your marriage certificate, and then we can get the points. And I've just been too lazy. And then after that, they'll give me all my points. So after they give me my points, I may be able to upgrade because all of those trips I made to Canada and back to the, United back to the Middle East, maybe. You want to see me travel to the slums of India? Why? That would be interesting? No way, I don't think I would. Just because I'm afraid of the safety part of it. If it was safer, I, I don't mind going. I don't mind going to like poverty places actually and living in poverty for a while, honestly. <laughs> I've had to live with bare, with, you know, bare bones stuff for a while. Sometimes in Katimovic, we had to sleep on a board once for a couple days on the ground. Sleeping on a board is honestly so, actually it was one of the best sleeps I ever had. And we were sleeping in a huge, there was about, there were so many people with us, like maybe 150 people, all in one room, all farting in the same area, snoring, gross, just annoying. And I just slept the best sleep of my life on that board. I don't know why. We all showed up in this like big gymnasium and we were in like, we were in, I think it was in Toronto for a conference and we go in the gymnasium. I'm like, where are we going to sleep? There's all these boards stacked up. They're like, grab a board and place it somewhere where you want to sleep. And I was like, we're going to sleep on a board? But that, I was young. I was like 18, so... I remember going to a Coffee Time Donuts in, like, the friggin' really bad area of Toronto. How long did you do Katimovic? Like, seven months? I can touch my toes. No, I just privated it because it was demonetized. Not demonetized, but, like, limited. Hey, Magical Stony. <laughs> Does someone block Purbees? Because last live I missed you were talking to Purbees, but I could not see them in chat at all. Oh, I don't think so. They're a mod, so they can't be blocked. They haven't been here. I don't know why. Maybe they don't like me anymore. <laughs> Well, I don't want people to think they have to give money to hang out here, you know? Oh, yes, Pervisa Salah, you're right. Yeah, I had an off-track day today. Um, What did I eat today? So I had Taco Bell, the quesadilla meal with Fiesta potatoes. I had two ice creams, um, beans, and a pita with cheese. Um, Some sunflower seeds. Um, some cheese and salad dressing, and that's about it. <clears throat> no, what is Secret Eaters? I know. <laughs> oh, just cheese and salad dressing. Yeah. Am I sleep deprived, Ruthie? No. I slept enough, but I don't know. I don't have much energy. A culinary delight. <laughs> But it's not healthy, I know. Chicken and dumplings, yum! Chantel salad. Yeah, I had weird cravings before. So it's shredded mozzarella and French dressing. <clears throat> Cheese is the best. French dressing is so good. It's like creamy and orange. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> creamy orange! Yeah, they're still dressing. Okay, let's go to my fridge. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a bottle left. Chicken adobo, I wish. <laughs> Puck cheese? Yes! Yeah, it's pretty good. We had a bottle of it. Fridge bees? I didn't drink it. French dressing is so good because the first ingredient is... Oh, sugar, yes, Leslie. I love chicken tikka. Cheese with fruit? I like cheese with grapes. Like a really old, stinky, tangy, sharp cheese with grapes. But I hate blue cheese. I don't, I just, it's the idea of the blue cheese. It gags me right out. But in mixed with ranch, dipping, um, dipping buffalo wings inside of it. Yeah. So good, Millie. I want to try a chicken adobo. 
You like blue cheese? Okay, let's go see my fridge. Here we go. Today's gonna be extra hard to get up. Because <laughs> Yeah, dress blue cheese dressing. My graveyard cheese. Yeah, and I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I had Limburger. It's not bad. It smells bad, but the taste is not bad. My sciatica. A cowie cheese. Yeah, and cashcaval. Listen, it's not always about how someone looks. Okay, it's about the connection you have with the person and the chemistry. So if you fall in love with a person based on other things other than their body um you're going to be attracted to that person and want to you know touch them and be around them and everything as much as you can you know when you're like super in love with someone and you just want to inhale them so it doesn't matter you know just because look at it this way just because you can't picture why someone would be attracted to someone else doesn't mean that that person's not going to be you know and i'm sure that people are wondering that about you guys or other people like it's just how it is you know not everyone's gonna find you attractive and you're not gonna find everyone else attractive <clears throat> no and they're subjective looks are subjective some people find brad pitt oh i find i like eh, meh you know doesn't do anything for me whatsoever beauty fades but dumb is forever <laughs> that's true <sighs> mama what are you doing i gotta take a break from the living room to the kitchen <clears throat> what do you do when it's half past two. Oh, what do you do? When it's half past. Wait, uh, okay. Oh, yes. Hey, Mama. I can't really talk about a certified window liquor out of respect for my husband, but. Attractiveness is in the eye of the beholder. Exactly. No, it's so true. I'm taking a break, Cody, from the living room to the kitchen. Give me a minute. Now, my fridge is a bit messy. Let's go. And my kitchen's a mess, but. <sighs> I got the hippie hippie shakes. So I'm not showing you the kitchen. I'm just showing you the fridge. Billy the fridge. See? Here's the quesadilla. There's the fiesta potatoes. And there's his drink that came with it. Um, here's like four bottles of shanty. Juice. Eggs. I'm going to grab another one of these bad boys. More eggs. More tadella. Here's my butter and cheese section. Some Monterey Jack. More water. French dressing. Cream. Insulin. Yep. And that's my fridge. <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. Here's my freezer. Oh, there's only one? Shit. There's about a whole bunch of these left. One of those. These, I don't like these. I wasn't lying. These are Salah's. <laughs> Sweet mother of ice cream. It's Lulu. They're so good. <laughs> They're really good. Okay, hold on. Why do I freeze it? Because we're not going to, I don't want to get pita every day. When, like when Salah goes to the store, we do groceries. We always get like five or six packs and freeze them, but they taste gross after you're right. They taste like freezer. He will eat all, but the last one of things he likes. <laughs> yes, Melly. You hate cheesecake? Blocked. No, I'm kidding. Energy. I better start eating that ice cream. That's what I told Salah. I'm like, you're not going to eat all the ice cream, so I do. <laughs> he doesn't even think of the ice cream. Well, my favorite Lulu. I love baklava. Cheesecake haters. Insane. Insane in the membrane. I hate food, to be honest. If I didn't have to eat, I would be so happy. I know, me too. <laughs> My insulin's been in the fridge. That bottle is going to be in the fridge for like two months. Because I'm already using a bottle. How come Salah is out? He had to have a meeting. What's life without good food? I know. It would get rid of a lot of my problems. Yeah, Leslie. I do like to cook for Salah. I made him a really good breakfast today. I make the best cheese eggs. Cheese scrambled eggs. It's very simple. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, right, Josh. <laughs> um, no, I didn't say he was playing cards tonight. No, I said he was at Dia 
He's having like a meeting at like a Delania. And I'm beezing with you guys. Can I like bees and draw people? I don't know, my sciatica, we have to seal, I'm sorry. Anyways, even if on vacation, you know, I can't be too active, I'll just push myself to walk around, take a break, walk around, take a break. You know, I'm going to Japan, Teardrop told you. I would love to go to Japan and try to fit in a capsule hotel. They look cozy, but claustrophobic. Is it work related? Kinda. Yeah, kinda. I know it's late, but <laughs> it's not traditional business, though. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm so annoying. And I act like I'm five, but <laughs> come on, baby girl. <laughs> Mama Juice. Do you want some match boost? Oh, 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 oh. oh. I can lay like this forever. I can lay like this forever and ever. The last one time I had a long layover. So I went to, oh my gosh. They dropped me off at A gate, okay? And it dropped me off in this, this is at Doha airport, hugest airport. There's this huge garden jungle thing they built and there's all these luxury stores. And I'm so tired, I barely slept on the flight. And I have to like get to C gate. One of the farthest seas, okay? <laughs> and I'm walking and I don't know where I am. I'm trying to find food because I have seven hours. And I'm so tired walking around. I finally asked an information desk to that this guy was there and he was talking with his friend. They both look at me. I'm like, is there like a Burger King? And he's like, Burger King? Uh, I have no idea. So I'm just like, is there any food? So finally there, I came across this food court that had like not good quality food whatsoever. So I had this like nasty square of pizza with artichokes on it anyway i was so tired I, I i get help to my gate i go up to this guy i'm like with this car i'm like can you please take me to my gate i'm like i'm gonna fall over so he took me to my gate it was like a 10 minute drive i get to my gate i take my backpack i put it behind my head and i somehow fall asleep without my CPAP, sitting up and i'm sleeping right next to a busy busy billboard thing where you can see all the flights he didn't know where it was it was so weird. I don't know if he was new. But anyway, and I walked a while. I didn't come across it either. Um, I started snoring, I think, at one point because I woke myself up snoring and I look over and this like lady beside me was like just staring at me and her husband was standing in front of her, not wanting to sit beside me. There was an empty chair and I'm thinking, what the hell? You don't want to sit beside me because I'm snoring or what? Do I smell? Maybe I did. I was on a long, 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 long flight. Who knows? Anyway. I held my pee. I didn't go to the bathroom for 13 hours. I didn't go once on that one plane ride. <laughs> no, I don't want to sit up. No, my sciatica. <laughs> Actually, Sarah, for some reason, I didn't have to go. Like, I didn't feel the urge at that time. Or I would have, I would have probably would have gone if it was really bad. Because I do use the bathroom sometimes. What I'm scared of, because I can fit in the bathroom, it's not that. What I'm scared of is I'm claustrophobic, you know? Thanks, Ruthie! So they're so small. What if you get stuck in there? I would freaking freak out. I don't need the bugs, Josh. They're not they're not halal. And I wouldn't anyway. Ew. Imagine. No offense to people who do, but you ate jumping shrimp. <laughs> yeah, the one and only time. I won't do that again. Do I want a snack? Do they make diapers for my size? I don't think so. <laughs> I remember reading a story of a guy who had an emergency, number two emergency, on the way home from the grocery store. He went to the grocery store to buy bread, and on the way home he had to go, so he found he had to use bread to wipe. The grasshoppers, okay, but the big worms and, hey saints, and the big scorpions and tarantulas, I can't see, I can't get that. It sounds like a, worse than a horror movie to me. I'm just sealing and beezing. Hey, beezers. <laughs> really grinds my gears that there's another definition for beezing. Has someone put in Urban Dictionary what beezing really means? You're finished gift wrapping. Gift wrapping is the worst I find, I can't do it. 
My friend and his wife are moving to Thailand in about two years after he retires. His wife is from Vietnam and beautiful. He said they could live there on 2000 a month easy. He has money. Oh, yeah. Even less. Trace, 2000 a month will give you a cushy life there. Yep. But you could live on less if you're like... But yeah, you can rent a place for like... I don't know. I don't know, actually. But I heard it's cheap. Yeah. Yeah, Thailand has like new visas, too, apparently for nomads and stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. The visas... We're a good weird, right? We're weird and we own it. Oh, yeah. Did I mop my carpet? I don't remember. Did I mop my carpet? <laughs> I don't remember. There's a lot of countries that I prefer over to being in Canada right now, honestly. This rug is due for a good mopping. Vietnam only has three months visas. Hmm, that's pretty standard. I don't know if I mopped the carpet. Moroccan bees. <laughs> <laughs> Morocco's too hot, yeah. Salah is busy. A food culture I haven't tried. Probably. There's so many countries. You have feelings and emotions? Remember the doctor said that? Remember? Come. Oh, good girl. Come see mom. Come see mom. 80% liver? I knew... Golden girl, I knew something was up with Harvey's. They don't taste like full beef. I agree. But they're really good. They it tastes like they use soy for something. Teen magazines? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I don't have Netflix. Darn it. Anyone want to give me their login? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <sighs> the texture of liver? Yeah. I know what you mean. I don't like liver whatsoever. Chicken liver burgers? Really? They're cracking down, Anna? Probably. Oh, they don't let you share? Sorry, Buster. I'll mute it. My mom made us eat liver and onions growing up all the time. I'll never forget it. Yeah, probably because it was nutritious. <laughs> no, I'm not eating anything, Tesla, right now. I'm pretty full from my quesadilla. My double dia. I like the smell of liver and onions cooking, but I don't like the taste. We're beezing. Yeah, liver's cheap. That's true. Always beezing, Charles. Yeah, I know. Taco Bell Day makes my tummy hurt. But I always do it. You mute to fart on Zoom calls. <laughs> well, it's the polite thing to do, I guess, right? Imagine you just cut them. <laughs> they say I'm nasty. Well, yeah, I kind of am. Juice! We understand. <laughs> yeah, but you know, modesty and all that. <laughs> no, sometimes I just... Okay, so... Should I have an ice cream? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Jenny. <clears throat> Daisy, I've just been sealing. What are you up to? Rub's lotion is a raccoon with internet access. The nasty was endearing. What does that sound? Itchy throat? Yeah, bear. I have an itchy throat. I need an ice cream. <sighs> What's new? Candace, nothing. My life is boring. How about you? I like all grapes if they're sweet. Red grapes are superior. You know what I love? The grapes I love? Um, blue grapes. The skin is sour. Cotton candy grapes, Rachel? Yes. They are good. Green seedless are good, too. I like most grapes. I never used to love grapes, but Jordy's receding, George's receding hairline. You guys don't miss any imperfections, eh? He's out, he's out with friends. With sharp cheese, yes. Sour grapes. Oh, black grapes are good too. The long ones like this. <gasps> I want to make caramel. Homemade caramel or butterscotch. I have cream. Yeah, I made, I made that before once. And I made everyone in my family eat it. <laughs> yeah, I've tried them before. Strawberries. Okay, what are the ingredients for caramel or butterscotch? Sugar, cream. I don't have vanilla. Oh, I don't have condensed milk. Shoe kickers and rats. Guess I'll just have to eat ice cream with no caramel. <laughs> I can't order anything because... Because, uh... Salah's out and he'll have to answer the call for the guy. My cat video was so ridiculous, I know. But I even had to make it. It is midnight. 
donuts, yum. They do have really shifty eyeballs. You know in cartoons when it's all dark and all you see is the eyes go like this? <laughs> Missy. Yeah, I know. I wish I had condensed milk. <gasps> yeah, I'm golden girl. Lucky. Yes, Bear, I know. It's her. My favorite childhood memory? One that just popped in my head when you said that was spending time at my grandpa's chalet in the Laurentian Mountains. He used to own a chalet. And in the fall, we had this little thing. It was like a ski do, but not like it had a steering wheel. It wasn't motorized and it had like two skis on it. We used to take and his his chalet was gorgeous and it was on a mountain. So the Laurentians are mountains, right? <clears throat> so we would pile all the leaves. Then at the top of the mountain, take that thing down and fly into the leaves. And then in the summer or whenever it was berry season, we would pick raspberries. He had raspberry bushes all around. It was so nice. Yeah, I did get snowy. Yeah, very snowy. Yeah, we used to go there all the time. And there was always, there was this, there was woods right beside it. It was surrounded by woods. And I remember going for a walk in the woods and there was a Santa sleigh capsized in the middle of the woods. And as a kid, I used to think, oh my gosh, Santa crashed here. And then I was like, Santa has those problems. Isn't he magic? He crashed. Is he okay? Am I going to get gifts? Like if he crashed? And then, Yeah. It was spooky though too and I never wanted to go to bed. They always made me go to bed first. <laughs> I was so scared. That's the place where I drank where the, the salad dressing. I drank the salad dressing. My grandpa had a nutcracker on his fireplace at the chalet and I always was scared of it so I thought it was going to come. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful chalet. It was so gorgeous. It was huge huge chalet lofts like it had like a main level the ceilings were like freaking 20 feet tall that's all i remember and going up the stairs and the bedrooms were in like a loft like it's hard to explain like you could see the upstairs if you were downstairs you could look up you and you could see like the upstairs <clears throat> yeah it was so nice <laughs> did i have my own room yeah usually and i didn't want to sleep alone i was so freaking scared that I would just like keep my eyes closed the whole time. Like it was freaky. I don't know why. I was always scared as a kid of things like that. Ghosts and stuff. Yeah, I've been spooked at night a lot. Yeah. I miss the chalet. And he also had a nice boat. It was called Le Chalet d'eau, Meaning like the chalet on the water. And it was like a house, like not a houseboat, but like a, I guess it was like a, a yacht, a, a small yacht or something. <clears throat> and I used to sunbathe listening to Tool on my CD player right on the front is it the bow of the ship like the front of the ship i don't know or the, the nose i don't know what it's called and then you can go down and there's a bedroom a v booth and a whole kitchen it was pretty nice i loved going on there we used to go to like a thousand islands in gananoque yeah no he sold the chalet he sold the chalet when he moved to um new york and then from new york you know he lives in front yeah he had like a yacht <laughs> he lives in florida Tool and Alice in Chains. Yeah, I never really listened to Alice in Chains. I know of them, but I was obsessed with Tool. Like, obsessed. Crazy Frog. Yeah, the bow of the ship had, like, an air seating area you can, like, lounge out in. And I remember just, like, being a teenager. I thought you were poor growing up. <laughs> well, my mom. But she didn't want help from her parents. Like, you know, they offered to let her stay there. And she wanted to do it on her own a lot. I'm sure she still got a lot of help from from her dad and mom but no my grandfather was loaded not my mom <laughs> but yeah but that's when I was like really young haunting I don't think I've seen those it was a poverty yacht it wasn't like a huge luxury yacht but it was like I don't know what kind of boat it would be if it was a yacht it looked like one poverty yacht bees <laughs> Yeah, a sail yacht. We had to, like, row. <laughs> I think my mom was proud and, like, you know, because I think they were like, how did you get pregnant? Like, why would you be get pregnant at this age? You you know, like, there's no way you're going to be able to take care of a baby and, and provide for it. So I think she kind of wanted to, like, you know, I'll show you. <sighs> Cabin cruiser? I don't know. Like a canoe. I need a friend with a boat. Yeah, I love I love a thousand islands. It's such a nice place to go 
people assume rich people always give money to their kids and it's not necessarily true my husband's parents are loaded and they've never given us anything that's true yeah that's true leslie i remember my grandpa giving enough of enough things like really good christmas money or birthday money treated us to trips to florida and stuff like that um i always help them out but you're right he doesn't like give them you know like <laughs> people assume that like you're gonna be made if your parents are rich no like you know it's not always like that all right what ice cream do i want i don't really have any sandwich ingredients to be quite honest i don't want something like mealish <laughs> and i only have one pack of indomie i don't want to eat one pack it's a waste of time scallops i love scallops scallops are so good i haven't had scallops in forever oh my gosh in cornwall there's this restaurant filos that makes the best seafood alfredo ling uh, linguini fettuccine seafood fettuccine alfredo and they put little mini scallops mini shrimp big shrimp hi vanessa and fake crab but it's so good oh my gosh it's so creamy and delicious and parmigiani steak and mac and cheese <gasps> we don't we used to have an outback in ottawa but it closed but i remember going there and eating the blooming onion <gasps> so good this is the seal channel slaw i love slaw my mom makes a really good linguine salad she uses linguine noodles italian dressing she puts a whole onion in it overnight and salad you know that salad seasoning mix salad supreme i think it's called really missy med you guys know this it's so good my name is ch like you spell the pajami a l c h a n t a l and my middle name is marie olive and my last name saddle hey hen love is it hein love or hen love bacon wrap scallops i never had that vegan alfredo i've had that before green grapes i used nutritional yeast and a carrot for the sauce oh no maybe that was cheese sauce yeah, my middle name is Marie Olive. And did you know that Olive in Arabic is Zaytun? So my name is Marie Zaytun. Oh, okay, him love, thanks. <laughs> I have no pickles. This is an emergency. I need a chamoy pickle kit ASAP. Where can I get one in Kuwait? Yeah. Thanks, Hello Kitty. Pajama merch? I can make sweats that say bees are on the butt. I can make bees are tramps, per temporary tramp stamps. Zaytun, yeah. Chantal Zaytun, it makes Salah laugh so hard when I say that. Seriously, oh my god. So then sometimes I'll go, Chantal Marie Zaytun, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have the same birthday as your sister. Oh, it's Marie too? That's crazy, teardrop. No way, isn't that crazy? Small world. Marie Olive, yeah. You know why? Because my mom, my grandma's mom's name was Olive. A bees are tramp stamp. That's funny and cute. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Blotched boob tattoo and fries. Whatever. Where did you learn to do cursive? It doesn't look like an S. <laughs> that was a spontaneous tattoo. Remember I got my nose pierced and I was like, I want a tattoo. Yeah, true, Charles. I love the way Salah says your name, Charles. <laughs> I'm going to call you Charles. A pajama. Pajami. Yeah, you like jammies? What do you need help with? You have a sleeve plus? Nice. What's Moo Moo merch again? Oh, Moo Moo's. Yes. Yeah, I missed my nose ring. I got a fake one from Timu. It just goes like this. Clip on. Yeah, pajama. I can't wait to get out of this clothing. My clothing and seal in my room. With the fan and the nice lighting and the TV. I'm going to watch a movie. Half my back and my leg. Ah, oh, okay. That must have hurt. <laughs> so, well, yeah. Not a bad hurt, really. Oh, well, that's good, though. At least, you know. Boy, am I happy I caught Taco Tuesday today. Oh, hen love, yeah. I love bedtime, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, my nose ring, yeah, like, I had a nose piercing before, and it fell out for, like, it was, like, maybe a day, and it was closing already. So, 
earrings don't close like in the earlobe they, like i haven't worn real earrings in there in forever and it's still open do you like the smell of earring backs Ugh. thumbs up please are my favorite snacks um hmm sunflower seeds melted cheese nachos popcorn with butter and parmesan cheese and dill and onion powder pickles stuff like this basically whatever i have in the house though <laughs> yeah no way in love <laughs> My favorite snacks I've never tried scrape. <laughs> hmm. Uh there are some there there are snacks you look at and you think, oh I'd like to try that. One of my daughters to get her nose pierced for her 16th birthday. Now she's in her twenties and doesn't have it anymore. Yeah, oh really? I took mine out because it was annoying because boogers they boogers adhere to your to the back of it and you're always having to pick them off. I hate that. Oh, sorry, what happened to Rub's lotion? Oh really, Missy? Cheesies! <laughs> I love the way you say that. Cheesies! I never heard someone else say cheesies. What kind of cheesies? Have you ever had Hawkins cheesies? They're a Canadian brand. I, my grandma always used to put them on her list for Dollarama. I used to have to get her Hawkins, hickory sticks. Yeah, Zaya. Sometimes she wouldn't even eat dinner. She would just have hickory sticks. And I would go over and go, what did you have for dinner, Grams? Just hickory sticks? And she'd say, yes, yeah, all guilty. And I'd go, all right. What do you want for dinner? Nothing, nothing. She loved Harvey's veggie burger. Oh, I miss my grams. I would love to take her grocery shopping. <laughs> Hickory Farms, yes. The baskets. The, the smoked cheese, I think. Just pierce your ears because we all get old and saggy. Your grandma's house always smelled like toast. Really? She would always eat toast? My grandma's house smelled like lavender cream, medicated cream, and plants. Because she had so many plants. She had a tiny, tiny apartment, okay? So tiny. It was a one bedroom, but it was like studio size. And all of her living room was like a jungle. She was like the plant whisperer. She loved plants. And she had plants. Some of them were like 20 years old, I swear. Um, they were huge. They were like, she had her, I don't even know what they did with her plants. I don't know. But, oh my gosh. Anytime I would buy a plant, I gave it to her because I knew she would, you know. Roman meal? Wheat bread? I never heard of that! Hi, tattoo check! I had this pierced before. See the hole? Oh, you can still see it here. Yeah, that hole was from my lip ring. That was a very painful piercing. Ow. Because it ripped through some of my facial hair that was here. <laughs> oh, that hurt so bad. I remember the pain. Yeah, Buster, I think so. I, can't, I, know, I, know, that, I know they said what they were doing with them. I just can't remember. Yeah, noses and ears. I call them papier ears. Oh, really? She was a mean lady. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, my grandma's mom had all, um, was it, she was, she had really bad mental illness, really bad. And I don't remember ever seeing her. I think she helped me once as a baby and then she just lost her mind badly. Top three favorite holes, what? Hard candy. Sorry, I rubbed the lotions. Um, yeah, the hard candy. My grandma didn't have really candy. She just let me, I just raided her cupboards every time I went over there. Everyone in the family did that. I usually took her crackers and cheese or chips, a handful of chips. If I didn't go myself, she would just offer every single thing she has in her house. Like I, if I would say, okay, grams, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go and get something to eat. Oh, wait, wait. And she'd get up and go to her kitchen. I have tomato soup. Do you want me to make you some tomato soup? No, I'm thinking, no, I'm going to get Harvey's. I want a burger. <laughs> Did she spoil you, but not your sisters? <laughs> I know, right, Missy? Same. Grandmas are special for sure. And aunts. I have the best aunt ever. Seriously. The thing she's done for me, it's like a second mom, basically. I've had so much fun with my aunt. When I turned 18, she took us to Hot Shot, my friend and I, for my birth 18th birthday Hot Shots. <laughs> it's like a male strip club. But, um, but back then, that was the thing. <laughs> she was so cool. I know, tomato soup with cream. 
Oh no. Great cook. Yeah, it's in my vlogs. Did you see the thing she made for me last time in Canada? She likes, she doesn't like cook meat. Like she likes to make like a thing she'll make is like lots of like, you know, salads and dips and stuff like that. <clears throat> She's actually vegan. Or vegetarian. Sorry, vegetarian. For like years now. <clears throat> yes, Charles. She's very awesome. I don't have a huge family, but the family I have and I'm close to, it's, I'm very close to. Yes. So. I used to be closer to my dad's side. I used to, like, I, they used to take turns, I guess. No, actually not turns. I used to see my dad and go to his side of the family, they would call it. Um, usually either Christmas Day or Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. So let's say my mom was having, like, they kind you know what I mean? Like Christmas, they would kind of try to work it out. And, yeah, we would all open gifts when we went to my dad's side, but he never bought me gifts. He would just give me a card, and I always knew that there was money in it because the envelope would be thick like this and not flat, because he used to give me, as a kid, like $350, sometimes $350 in cash, I remember one time. One time it was, like, stacked with gift cards. I stopped seeing them, oh, years ago. Yeah. A long time ago. <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but... The last time I saw my dad, I met my brothers. Like, a few years ago. One of them was fascinated with what I do. And... The other one was, like, just, like, playing a hockey game when he was younger. My dad had a brother that always looked pissed, so I was always scared to talk to him. <laughs> really? Yeah, the, the rich grandpa is on my mom's side. Her dad. I don't know, Tesla. I was just never close with my dad. We just kind of grew apart. So, yeah, no specific reason. <laughs> I would get mad that he didn't make more of an effort to call me more often and be in my life, you know? So, yeah, that's why. And people will say, well, you should make more of an effort. To me, it's the parent's responsibility. and the Like, that's how I feel about it. You won't change my mind. I feel like the, uh, the parent should be the one, should always be the one to make the effort. I don't know, like as a child, like it started in childhood. So I feel like it's their responsibility, you know, especially, I don't know. That's just how I feel. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Well, I have my sister. We have the same mom and different dads. And then my brothers, we have the same dad and, and different moms. <laughs> so like half, you know. But I just consider my sister my sister, so. But it's weird how blood I find because I still, I feel like I have love for my brothers even though I don't really know them, but because they're blood, you know what I mean? It's weird. Have you met your brother's mom? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, deal with them. Because I've been sealing together. <laughs> your skin is moving. Oh my gosh. Go to rehab. <laughs> I have a Roddy. He's adorable. Yeah, like Titan, if we go for like a gathering, everyone will be sitting around and he'll go from person to person and nudge you to pet him. He's so funny. My mom and dad adopted me as a baby. Really? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Do you find like your adopted mom feels like your like actual mom? Like, you, you know what I mean? He's a scholar and a gentleman. <laughs> no, he isn't. He's a freak of nature. No, I can't stand Buster. Poor Buster. His underbite. That's how he looks at me when I have cheese. <laughs> He's weird. I love going. He didn't even say hi, Energy Egg. <laughs> you only weighed two pounds. My sister only weighed two pounds. She was a preemie. Ah, oh, okay, teardrop. That's good then. That's good. I'm glad you got the same love, you know? More love than a maternal mom, like adopted parents. Like, you know, it doesn't, it, just because you push a baby out doesn't mean you're going to be a good parent. Yeah. My mom, like, you go to kiss him and give me a kiss. I'll go, <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> but he won't bite. He would bite me, I'm sure, but he doesn't bite my mom. He's a menace. He's a menace to society. 
He is. The popcorn curry. Yeah, he's a menace to society. Buster. Cabbage Patch Preemie dolls. Yes. I remember. Oh, no, not the preemie dolls. I remember the newborn dolls. I had one. But my sister was um, two pounds. She was very premature. I remember that. I remember them taking my mom by helicopter to the hospital because she was... I don't know what was wrong. Is it toxicemia or something like that? I don't know. They had to deliver my sister right away. And I remember like them being like, I went back with my grandma to see her when she was just born and she was like all still nude on the little table. She looked, she was like this big, I swear. Yeah, my mom is married to my sister's dad, yeah. And she grabbed, like I, she grabbed my finger. I was the first person to touch my sister. She grabbed my finger, like curled it around. She was so small. I couldn't believe something that small could live. Like, <laughs> golden girl, really? <laughs> Not the shade. <laughs> really, Amber? Oh, wow. Sorry, lotion. Yeah, she. there was something wrong that she had to be, like, talk, talk something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that, yeah, it was so strange. She was in the hospital for a couple of months, I think, and in an incubator. Molly, thanks for the announcement, you shrimpy weirdo. I'm just joking. <laughs> you... Yeah, Amber. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what we say about my sister Miracle, because, like, it was bad. My mom, like, apparently almost didn't, you know, make it through that. So. But. <sighs> yeah, no problem. Charles? Yeah, teardrop if you were two pounds. Wow. Miracle babies. Excuse me, Buster. You know that they sold out of Beezer Spray in Kuwait? Okay, thank you. Actually, I want them to make more. If you're in Kuwait, be sure to get your Beezer Spray. <laughs> Aw, Robin, it's hard, eh, to make them lose weight? Get a treadmill! <laughs> <laughs> Poor overweight animal. Yeah, it's hard, Robin, I know. Not to make light of it. No, it won't be cold here. Actually, in the desert in the winter? Yeah, it gets cold. I almost froze. Salah and I were, like, cuddling up because we forgot a blanket. We don't ship international, though. No. Or he doesn't. Beaver spray. At least we have unlimited air freshener. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> He loves his treats. Aww. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. He's not gonna understand, you know? He'll probably get used to his new normal, though. You collect room sprays? I totally get one. You would like it. I think when people were smelling it, like, in public, it's like, it's a, it's a smell you probably haven't smelled before. It's very unique. Like, I find Middle Eastern scents. I've never smelled them before coming here. You know? Feed him green beans for a snack? Oh, that's cute! Gosh, Black Rose, what? Ew! Yeah, oud, yes. A lot of his scents have oud in them. Yep. A lot of them. <clears throat> we have a couple of very expensive oud perfumes, actually. Yeah, patchouli. There's a really nice patchouli one I always wear. The Beezer Spray is like... Rose vanilla with, I think, amber, maybe. I'm not sure, but there's some kind of, like, Arabic smell. He's uh, with friends being grapes, like, at a meeting. Do you want you? Patchouli musky amber smells. That's exactly, you would love some of the perfumes here. Um, he doesn't make, like, dupes, as far as I know. Like, they're their own scents, but no, it's not overpowering. It just takes off that edge, you know? Yeah, the perfumes are really nice. Mama Juice! I gotta go bathroom. <laughs> we do! When it's half past two, I said, what do you do? When it's half past two, you guys can watch Juice. 
Look herself. Move, Mama. Okay, Mama. You gotta look somewhere else, okay, huh? <laughs> this Mama's chair. <laughs> this one, there's information on it, but is one of my favorites. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's oud in it, I think. Then this one, this is not from Sola's business, but when I put this on, it smells. Let's say I have the same pajamas on for like two days. It'll smell the whole time. Spirit of the Union, Emirati Oud. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so good. I love it. I know, they do look them still. Looks like Windex, I know. <laughs> but it's not. Bismillah. Usually means it's oils. Mm. Hi! Red door. Elizabeth Arden? These bottles are very common here, Mimos. And this is like an old bottle. <laughs> like old. The sale sticker is on it. 2KD 400 fills. Vanilla Field. I used to like that. I remember the smell. CK1. Too expensive pajami. Jupe. But whenever I can come back to North America, I can make, we can make gift kits and sell them. So I was like, no, it's going to be free gifts. <laughs> I'm like, no, you can sell them. We can do giveaways too. White linen. I like cleaning cappy. That's the best smell. I showed my scale. You can't tar it, Mimos. You can't. There's no tar. I can go get it now. Your husband doesn't wear cologne? Spray him. <laughs> really, Teardrop? <clears throat> I find most perfumes are expensive. No bees or cologne. It's kind of like a unisex. It's like a chocolate, like a Nutella in the middle. Mmm. Yeah, a sample set, exactly. Oh, I know Scarlet. Okay. <laughs> no, I have an Eldritch. Try gold ice cream from Kit Kat's Pistachios. How come I didn't see this one at the Jamea? Thanks for the tip, Malala. Chanel Chance? That smells nice. Yeah. It is. <laughs> big back, big back. Me too. Oh, okay, Eldridge. They have sugar free ice cream. Hey, retail. Is it made with tears? Why am I hungry? I took my insulin. Maybe that's why that stupid insulin is the devil. As in terms of making you hungry for things. And I had a big appetite before. Hey, B. Sugar zero ice creams are boring. I want to go to Baskin Robbins. I love frozen yogurt. I like yogurt fruits. Yeah, Christian. Yeah, Dune is nice. How much am I bringing on my trip? Like, what do you mean money? We have our cards. Our credit cards. Oh, insulin. And we, have, we like what we do is we exchange money before we go, depending on the currency. Oh, that's what we did for Thailand. I don't know. I haven't asked a lot what we're going to do this time, but insulin. I guess I'm going to bring a bottle. Or do you mean how much am I taking? Is that what you mean? Burberry smells nice, yeah. Peanut butter ice cream. Yeah, B. Yeah, it's nice to have you. 
I check my sugars when I get up. Sometimes in the evening, but... I have my thing here. I'm going to check, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because it causes drama that I don't need. Remember teardrop! Hey, Patty! I'm rubbing the alcohol so that there's no sugar or nothing on it. I want to, you know what I'm going to watch tonight? I never had Brahms. What's the ice cream place in something cow in Charlottetown? In um, Prince Edward Island. Something cows. Three cows? No. What the hell? I never had marble slab either. Or stone cold or whatever it's called. Cold stone. Stop, dear job. I'm not going to tell people anyways. It's for my own reference. Hmm. It's actually not bad. For the crap I've been eating today. Cotton candy ice cream is so good. I've had that. Ew. Bluebell ice cream? Cool water. Yes, David Doff. I remember I used to always wear that. And Ghost Mist. Remember Ghost Mist? That reminds me of the 90s. You've been eating all day? Yeah. I've been grazing. Sweet frog. Juice! What are you doing, Juice? Juice? She's eight, so now she's grooming. Mama Juice. Anyways. I don't really have much stuff. Try the rolled ice cream. Yeah, same here. Yeah. What does shot day mean? Oh, like Ozempic or? Cold Stone Creamery? Yeah, we have, I think they have this here, Cold Stone. I just never tried it. Trulicity, oh. Hit that like button, y'all. Thank you, guys. Um, I need to get Howie some treats. Some carrot, some apple. Should we go feed how? Yeah, exactly. I know. Mama. I'm obsessed with my pets. She's carrying the bottle cap in her mouth. I'm gonna freak out. That's too cute. Your cat fetches bottle caps? Thanks, Jacinta. Blue moon flavor. What is blue moon, Bren? I never spayed my baby girl and I'm far from abusive to animals. That's ridiculous. Yeah, exactly, Jess. It's already out, but she was carrying it for a second. <laughs> Mm. I'm lazy. I need to go get the apple and carrot. He takes them off, wolf pup. That's smart. Scrunchies. Yeah, they love those things. One time BBJ got a hold of one of those like rubber bracelets and it said love on it. And she ate the whole thing. I don't know how she did it, but she threw up and my part of my bracelet was in there, just the love part. Like, why do you eat these things? What is wrong with you? That was like a long time ago. She was, she was bad for stealing things like that from my room. Always stole an earring. I don't know where she put it, but she would bat it somewhere in the house. I never found it. So I always had one earring. Catch mice and drop them off in your bed. Oh no. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's common for them to do that, eh? They love to catch mice and squirrels. Oh, Melly, you miss. I know. I don't know how I'm going to. Last time when we went to Thailand, that's all I like. The trip felt so long because I was like, oh, I miss Julia. But we were sent videos and stuff all the time. So it's one o'clock a.m. Do you hear the kids screaming? People don't go to bed early here. So never worry about the keyboard. I'm telling you. It's wild, this neighborhood. <laughs> it's their way of saying you suck at hunting. I look tired. I'm pretty tired. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yep. So, you got served a restraining order. Salah's out. Yeah, Kim. They just wanted lovin's. Aww. Arabs don't have strict bedtime with their children. True, I've noticed that in love. When I first came here, Salah was, you know, um, eager for me to meet his family and friends and stuff. And the first, like, little bit that I was here, I was surprised because he's like, we're going to go to a beach, have a barbecue on the beach. And it was like 1230 a.m. I'm like, who is? And he's like, 
my friends and their family and their kids and stuff. And I was like, what? It's 1230. I used, my mom used to put me to bed when the sun was out. <laughs> she had a whole bag of earplugs. Oh, I would make them barf them up. Yeah, that, that would be panicky. That must have been heck. Hi, Lauren. Do I have, no, I don't have any nieces and nephews. I hope someday I do. But... I'll be the cool aunt, like my aunt is to me. Spoil. My dog loved to eat starlight mints. Stole them out of the pantry. Beezer. Beezer, Beezer. Yeah. I don't know. My girls would stay up to 2 a.m. sometimes when we don't have school. Let them have fun. They feel like, and they'll sleep in, hand, right? <laughs> You're the cool auntie, duck puppet? How many cousins? All the cousins I have are on my dad's side. I have quite a few. I used to see them when we would go for gatherings and stuff. Um, on my mom's side, my grandma's, my grandma's sister um, has two kids. They're adult, they're older than me, but they're my cousins. Taco Bell is closed probably right now. I don't know. 11 a.m. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Memories of me and you go on and on. Oh. <laughs> I didn't care. Yeah, I wish that. I wish. I used to be bad and get up and like beg for more time to stay up. <laughs> I bet you I got put to bed early because I was a pain in the ass. I don't know. <laughs> pajammy yeah teenagers can sleep a lot do you miss a lot when he's gone yeah I do like at first I enjoy a bit of alone I guess I enjoy a bit of alone time sometimes but like now I'm starting to miss him and in Canada like when I'm away for more than a day or something I really miss him yeah no I won't go to sleep <laughs> I check the map <laughs> <laughs> no, I just messaged him. He's gonna let me know when, he, when he's on his way. He just sent me some. Ah. They're playing cards. It might be a while yet. <laughs> I hate cards. I don't know how they, they play that so long. What did I used to play? I used, my mom bought me a card deck when I was a kid of Old Maid. You ever play that? The dollar store bones? <laughs> what, Zach? Which ones? Make him buy you a frappe. We have a ton of ice cream. I should eat another one, though. No. Ah. Anyways. Mm. Very feminine. Okay, I need a snack. Did you guys see what I had in my fridge? Oh, I don't have anything. Oh. I think I know what I have. I'm eating your chips, babe. You had a week to eat them. <laughs> I'm eating Salah's chips. He had a week to eat them. They're still here taunting me. All right, I'm beezin, but I have some shani, some ketchup sticks, some hot peppers, and some cheese. Yeah, I found a snack. Okay, let's eat. And this will be it. Yeah, I have 103,000 now. Thanks, guys. Make it more. I just had Taco Bell. I was going to be like, order twice. Sorry, baby, it's not for you. Oh, you like the cream cheese. Here. Here. I know you love the cream cheese. Yes, you do love the cream cheese. Mmm. Oh, you don't like it? Fermented steak. Men are teenagers with beards? Sometimes. <laughs> mm. Yeah, not binging strawberries, but eating a lot. Eat the cream cheese. She looks offended by the cream cheese look. 
Hello? Excuse me? Is the cream cheese not enough? What? What? Oh. Oh. Eat it. You normally love it. She, she wants a chip. No, she doesn't like chips. She usually eats this cream cheese. What, you don't want me to watch you? Stop playing games. Quit playing games with my cream cheese. With my cream cheese. My cream cheese. She's like, what else can I have? <laughs> Jess. I, would tell, I don't know what kind of cat she is. She's one of a kind. Yes, you want me to because you're unique. These peppers are no joke. Mm. <laughs> Maybe she can't see it. True. Do you have problems with your vision? Why don't you also go with Salah? <laughs> In this culture, Women and men socialize separately. So what would be like super taboo and weird for his wife or wife to be hanging out with the male friends? <laughs> when we need vacay money. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Hot, but good. Testosterone event. Exactly, and it's okay to have time alone. To bees. That's my opinion. It's important for him to see his friends. <laughs> I'm not gonna go see Strung Up Tigers. No, it's Shanny. It's called Shanny. I like. Like, if we go camping, I'll socialize with the women. Yeah. If we go to a social event, you know. Like a mixed one. This is totally girl dinner. Why did I have bouillon? No, buster. I went camping twice. Okay. <clears throat> I've been don't hang out with no one but his computer. <laughs> yeah. So love loves his gaming. <laughs> but he still pays attention to me at least. Yum, Jackie B. Um, Angry Blue Pot, what about Safari World? Your husband's 60 and still plays games. They'll never grow out of it. Okay, so they all have a good night. Okay, no more eating. Sorry for licking my fingers and being gross. I like to gossip and with men, it's not fun. We are men don't gossip. No, like when we were in Bangkok, would it have better to go to Safari World? We didn't get to go there. Because they were talking about humane places in Bangkok, or um, Thailand. I don't know, ECP. I would have to call him or, you know. What do you mean certified? Really, Golden Girl? <laughs> Can we seal these again? Blue Pot, listen. I love zoos too, and I know they're controversial, but... <laughs> Tear Jaffy, crack me up. Hey, if you're with somebody all the time, married for 30 years, yeah, you're gonna enjoy your alone time. Of course. I don't blame you. I don't mind. I like him to have fun with his friends and stuff, you know? 
It gives you a break from like entertaining them in a way. <laughs> French for old Goliath. <laughs> I've been married for four years and I already enjoy my alone time. Yeah, we need all need alone time. It doesn't mean people think that's like, oh no, I can't stand, I need alone time. Does that mean I don't love them anymore? No, it just means you need alone time. It's like a normal sentiment as a human being. You know what I mean? Uh, probably not, Jennifer. Yeah. Anastasia! <laughs> Jackie B. I want mac and cheese. Separate rooms is everything. <laughs> yep, you don't have to sniff anyone's gas. Sometimes I eat in my car because I need alone time for my dogs. <laughs> They're always begging you. I hate when I'm eating at my mom's and Buster's making his way around the table, looking at you guilty with his underbite. Offshore fishermen, really? There's no way I can order dinner. I'm not asking to order again. I just had Taco Bell. There's no way. <laughs> Look at me like I have three heads. I never had Chick-fil-A mac and cheese. It's good. Last time I checked the weather, it was 42 Celsius, but that was earlier today. Taco Bell is expensive there? Kind of. Buster slander. You have to ask to order food? Yeah, because like, I don't know. You know, you confer on things like this as a couple. And plus, like he has to know because he has to answer the phone. Hey, Jessica. Wow, <laughs> teardrop. You're short like me, eh? You don't get a large fiesta potato like Kuwait? I know what you're doing. You're cute dating. If I really wanted food, he'd probably sit. He always asks me when he's out if I want something. So, but it's usually to pick up shawarma because there's so many shawarma places. Shawarma. I don't feel like eating a shawarma. It gives me heartburn. I don't confer about no man. You just order like without telling your husband? He says no all the time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I don't listen. What do you think? You think I don't get my way? I'm kidding. Jeez. Duh. <laughs> Actually, sometimes I'm just like, he just knows what I'm gonna ask by the tone of my voice. We'll be watching something and or he'll be playing and I'll be watching and I'll go, hey. No. <laughs> but it's mostly like a joke at first. And then I'll just go, I'm going to order this. Do you want something? <laughs> Actually, I don't order the same as I used to because, you know, mm, just don't. I guess I could put my own phone number, but I just never do. The reason I have to have him help me is because he talks to them and directs them. I don't know how to direct them here. I don't know what to say. No, I chose to eat the normal Hardy's meal. <laughs> I thought it would be bigger. The heck? I guess I just ask him, like, too, like, do you want something? I don't never just order. Yeah, that's exactly what Melly said. Just, like, consult with him. I don't, like, need his permission. Excuse me. But I guess mostly because it's his bank card. <laughs> so... And he gets notifications, so I don't want him to just be surprised by 4KD, Taco Bell, 4KD, Burger King, like popping up in his DMs, you know? <laughs> so he has to know. <clears throat> oh, your rim came off here, Drop? That's a pain in the butt. It's good, eh? Extra warm up, but. Not my money. You don't think he pays for anything? Come on. <laughs> the swordfish was seriously the only bum I ever entertained in my life. Everyone else I've been with, has it was 50-50. They had money. They had their own job. So that's no different now. <laughs> like I said, he had a living before me. He has one now. Okay, Missy. <clears throat> I never gave him any money, though, Tesla, ever. It's not about ordering food with, it's not about the money. It's about the, he needs to answer the phone. And I don't think I should order again. I had Taco Bell. I could go for a Whopper, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Swordfish. <laughs> Sorry, Goblinfish. <clears throat> Poor Jessica. 
puts in. Easter Island head. <laughs> uh. <laughs> exactly, Buster. I don't need more takeout now. What? Dumped on you for eight hours? That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, it's not like that here. They don't have... They have something called Bacala. It's like small, small store. Like cluttered. So. Yeah. I don't feel like going out to it. I can reheat his Taco Bell like a pro. It's called an air fryer. It's actually a quesadilla, so it won't be too bad. <clears throat> yes. Hey, Vanessa. Yeah, like a bodega. I think she lies about the calories. <laughs> He's out. No, I don't air fry the grilled cheese. I should go to bed soon. Yeah, Notting Hill! Coming up soon. Why are my gums red? Do I have gingivitis? Yeah, it's a pan fry, grilled cheese. I take a slab of butter, put it in the pan, and it goes tss. Then I put the sandwich. Then when it's brown on the one side, I put another piece of butter, and it goes tss. And then I flip it. So I don't think I'll play Crazy Frog tonight. Fresh corn, yes. Do you think she undercounts? I have inflammation of the gums. Uh oh. What do I do? It's normal for them to stay out late here. He went out late. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's a big thing for you, Vanessa. 16 years? Wow. Notting Hill Carnival. I'm going to have to look that up, too. I'm very happy for you, Vanessa. I found you through a hate channel and sub to you. Thank you! You were married to a Muslim? Oh, really? I'm sorry it didn't work out. Get a water pick? Yeah. What can I do besides getting a water pick? <gasps> oh, and salami? Yum, that sounds good. Teardrop. I gotta try that. Three kids? Corey, yeah, I'm a seal today. Bleach? Gaining ground is funny, yeah. <laughs> it's true. No salami for Muslims? You can have beef salami. Aw, oh, thanks, Pin Love. <laughs> Why does it remind you of her girlfriend? I have not been to a dentist in years. <laughs> salami with mustard. Although beef salami is kind of grosses me out a bit. It's like it gets discolored quickly. We've been together almost two years. Been in Kuwait about the same amount of time. I don't even remember the last time I went to a dentist. I think it was in 2015. <laughs> the Canadian government used to pay for the dentist up until your 18th birthday. So I used to go to the dentist a lot. My do my dentist, all I remember, reeked of cologne. And I remember the, the picture they had framed in the office. It was a guy on a dentist chair. It was a cartoon. And he went like this and he had all band-aids on his gums. And then the hygienist said, floss the night before, huh? And then after you got your teeth cleaned, they gave you, they, he had a treasure chest. And I used to get like a Murphy the Molar sticker. Ugh, you know what I hated the most? That fluoride treatment. And then they have that sucker in your mouth that sucks the excess spit. What? In love, oh my god. The US government doesn't pay for any? That's true, we should be. I heard that. Yeah. Beatus is whatever. The little creep.
creatures in your mouth. <laughs> Murphy the Molar. Anyway, there was a donut shop right beside the dentist. And I used to beg my mom to take me there. <laughs> Putting plaster. Oh, Lord help us. Burnt tires. <laughs> True, eh? I remember having cavities filled. I think I had one fall out. I should get that checked. He held it. Oh, did he? ACP? R2D2. Oh, yeah. I like match boost. That's my favorite Middle Eastern food. Whoppers after the dentist as a reward. Not my tooth, the filling. A long time ago. I never did anything about it. Senior coverage. My age group? I'm not a senior! What the heck? <laughs> Should warm my yum. Yeah. yeah, that's why I have baby teeth. It's like my whole family. This is a baby tooth. See how small it is? And these were baby teeth. And they fell out. They started hurting. So if I lose this one, I'm going to look like a... There's going to be a hole. I need dentures. <laughs> no, I'm not ordering BK. <laughs> no, he's not bringing food. I had enough food today. I'd be embarrassed to ask for more, honestly. Movies that came out in 2015? Oh god, I don't know. I ate his chips. I hope he won't be mad. I'm sorry, but you have one week. If food lingers for more than that, it's getting eaten. <laughs> yeah, it used to be true. I don't know how I still have this baby tooth. But it's on borrowed time. I always, dream, I always dream that it's loose. And every night, every night, I have a dream I'm looking for my car because I really want to go on a long car ride. And go eat fast food. And I never get to. Anyway, did I ever tell you guys about the time that I pulled over on a... Like, illegal, you shouldn't be pulling over on this road to eat my McChicken. And I, the cop came to my window and asked me what I was doing. And I had mayo everywhere. No, McChicken sauce. Extra McChicken sauce. You better pick up some treats on the way. Yeah, I drove to America. <laughs> yeah, it was three hours, about. There was a Sonic, and then I went to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is really good. Really, really? <laughs> my stepdad used to go on the road. He was a truck driver at one point, and... He used to always have these bottle of gherkins in the fridge, and every time he would come home, they'd be gone. I was like, where's my gherkins? I've never washed my feet. <laughs> I don't think there's a need. All the soap and shampoo from your body goes on your feet, and your feet is constantly covered in water. You can just go like this on the top. <laughs> yes, angry blue pot. But anything below the um, butt, I just won't wash. <laughs> Why do you have to wash your legs? They don't smell. <laughs> Golden Girl's like, what? I have never washed my feet in my entire life. <laughs> Why do you have to wash your feet? <laughs> Dead skin and dirt? Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for real, Carolina. <laughs> Shoot. Maybe that's why I have to go to the salon. All right. Oh, no, I did have a pedicure a few times, and they did scrub my feet. And they actually said they seen worse. <laughs> my feet don't smell. They don't. And they're not that bad. Like, they're not rough. Smelly. Ah. <laughs> uh, I need to get a pumice stone. I shave my legs. I don't. I honestly don't have hair on my legs. Like, if I was able to, like, I could show you my legs. They're not hairy. I don't have a lot of body hair. Just like I don't have a lot of hair. You don't scrub your feet? I don't really care about that, you know? If they smelled, I would wash them. Smell them on camera. I can't smell my own feet. If they smelled, I'm sure Salah would say something. No. <laughs> don't smell like poo cheese. Yeah, I need, I need a foot scrub. I need a good foot care. Wash your legs and feet. <laughs> a feet cheese grater? I need one. <sighs> they smell like blue cheese. No, they no. <laughs> no, he didn't, Tesley. Did he? No. I have very little hair on my legs. Not much. He has smelled my feet. Like, not smell. Like, he's been around my feet 
close up. He doesn't say anything. There's nothing bad with him. <laughs> Fritos <laughs> reaction channels are going to have a field day. I know. Oh, well. <sighs> what can I do? They're not bad. <laughs> no, he's not a toast. <laughs> no, but you know, like you, you, when you're close to each other and like playing around and like putting your feet in their face and stuff, you know, my feet are not gross. Tell us more secrets. Mm. <laughs> Ingrown toenails. Yeah. My toes are too far apart. That's probably why they get washed automatically. The soap goes inside. <sighs> Salah is huge on hygiene. I find that like Arab culture in general, like no body hair, um, no smells. So trust me, I don't smell. A caramel mocha. Did you have too much of it? <laughs> I have baby feces. <laughs> Hobbit feet. <laughs> Rub the lotion. Yeah, I know. The men can be hairy, sure. <laughs> Actually, they don't have like they don't like hair in their armpits, so <laughs> because it's like not like you know if you have hairy armpits you're more likely to have a smell, so <laughs> like anything I've seen <laughs> I know my feet are weird, yeah, it's that way with all men. <laughs> you like watching podiatry videos? <laughs> Your fur grow out. <clears throat> Yes, some women shave off. Hey, Vegas doll, what's up? John Goodman played a mob character called Baby Feet. No, Vienna Sausage. Oh, he keeps repeating himself. Yes, I wash my arms. <clears throat> Anything below the knees, forget about it. Buster, oh no. No, you're cleaning video. I don't like anything gross like this. Like zits popping and stuff. Hey, lady, Jay. This is so funny. <laughs> Thanks, Angie. Back scrubber thing. No, I have Salah do that. The back. <laughs> Some feet are in need. That's true. Yeah, my feet just... You've seen my feet, guys. They're not perfect, but... Yeah, you gotta keep them clean and be careful when you're cutting your nails, eh? When you have diabetes. Oh god, here we go. He helps you shower. <laughs> No, just my back. I don't need help to shower. I can shower myself. But I can't reach really all my back. So, and I don't have a long loofah. I need a rag on a stick. Yeah, true, YouTube lover. You should go outside and roll. I'll just go in the ocean. <laughs> Has salt water. Remember? I told you. You can't reach your whole back. That's why. I'm gonna go get comfy. It's uh, very late here. It's 1.48, so... I'll try to be on tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, but Angry Blue Pot. <laughs> All right, guys. <sighs> How do you guys wash your back? Ah, oh, he sent me a foot scrubber link. Okay, Carolina. Thank you. Natalie, everybody. Bye, guys.